So new studies show that eating processed foods will reward you with a much shorter life expectancy compared to people eating fresh whole foods. So what does that mean for dogs that eat a processed food every meal of their lives? Today, I wanna to show you the top four problems with kibble, but don't worry, I'll show you how to make a food topper with just six or seven simple ingredients that will help protect your dog from the dark side of processed foods. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So this 2021 study is really eye-opening. Researchers found that the more processed foods that people eat, the higher the all-cause mortality rate, which means death from all causes. And substituting processed foods with fresher, minimally processed foods decreased the mortality rate. So the obvious answer is your dog needs to eat fresh, whole foods to have the best chance at a long and healthy life. That's why so many people are fanatical about raw diets. So if you can feed a raw, fresh food diet, then I would really, really encourage you to do that. And we have free recipes to get you started on the Dogs Naturally site and in the description below. But listen, I know that not all of you can afford to feed your dog a 100% fresh food diet. So I'm here to help. I'm gonna show you some easy and inexpensive ways to make your dog's kibble a lot more like real food with this simple dog food mixer recipe. Okay, so the first problem with kibble and other processed foods is that they're antioxidant poor. Real fresh food contains plant compounds called polyphenols and they promote a healthy gut by feeding gut bacteria and a healthy immune system because the gut bacteria produce short chain fatty acids when they eat polyphenols. Now this makes them work magic in the body and fight chronic inflammation by reducing free radical damage. Now, free radicals are unstable molecules that steal electrons from molecules and cell membranes, and they're a significant cause of disease and aging. And kibble is a problem for two reasons. First, it often contains molds and pesticides that ramp up free radical production. And unlike fresh foods, it doesn't contain much in the way of antioxidants to fight that damage. So the first thing you need to do is add antioxidants to your dog's food. Now, my favorite source of antioxidants is just fresh berries and veggies. In fact, studies show that dogs that eat green, yellow, and orange veggies just three times a week had a 90% decrease in cancer risk, while those eating only cruciferous veggies had a 70% decrease. So mulch up some broccoli sprouts, broccoli, zucchini, blueberries, whatever you can find, and add them as five to 10% of your dog's diet at least three times a week. Okay, now that you've added antioxidants, you have to clean up the toxins. Look, I don't mean to hate on kibble, but it does contain toxins like aflatoxins, glyphosate, heterocyclic amines, even flame retardants have been found in kibble. So you have to get those heavy metals and toxins out of your dog before they damage the organs. Now, if you've decided to mulch up some broccoli or sprouts for your dogs, and you're already halfway there, the sulforaphane in cruciferous veggies helps the liver detox these dangerous metals. And I'd also add a clay like bentonite or zeolite, humic or fulvic acid. These will bind to toxins in the intestines and will help prevent them from reaching the liver in the first place. But you're not done yet. Adding mushrooms like reishi, shiitake, or maitake will provide your dog with glutathione, which is an antioxidant that also protects the liver and helps it clean the crap out. And mushrooms are the only good source of beta-glucan, which is an immune-boosting polysaccharide. This is a really important study showing that eating mushrooms daily was associated with a lower risk of all causes of death. They're just too important to ignore. So make sure your dog gets a small amount of mushrooms virtually every day. Just make sure they're cooked or a double extracted mushroom powder. Raw mushrooms can be really hard on your dog's gut. Okay, so now that we've added lots of antioxidants and we've helped protect the liver and the organs from toxins and kibble, we've got two jobs left. Another problem with kibble is that it contains too much starch. That's what makes it cheap. Your dog can get protein and nutrients from carbohydrates, but this comes at a cost to his health. Starchy foods feed the wrong bacteria species in your dog's gut, and yeast like Candida and Malazesia gets fed too. Now, these guys will eat that starch and they poop out toxic byproducts that will irritate the gut lining and cause leaky gut. 
and the result is rampant inflammation that often looks like allergies. But in most cases, the itch is because your dog's immune system is just on fire trying to deal with undigested food and toxins that escape the gut. So it's important to give probiotics to any dog eating kibble. You can try fermented foods, but many dogs can't tolerate them and it can make them itchier. I think the best choice is soil-based probiotics because your dog is lacking in these important bugs. In the wild, animals eat a lot of dirt along with the important bacteria that lives in the dirt. So soil-based probiotics will put that healthy earth back into your dog and help build up healthy bacteria species that will keep the harmful starch-eating populations down to a healthier level. And finally, we have to fix the fats. Kibble is usually way too high in inflammatory omega-6 fats, so you need to add anti-inflammatory fats. Now, chronic inflammation will just wear out your dog's cells and organs, and this is the cause of most chronic diseases like cancer, kidney failure, dementia, heart disease, and more. So you need to add fish oil, squid oil, or greenlit mussel oil to your dog's food every day. If you're worried about the health of the oceans, then please choose green lip mussels because they're sustainable and there's no bycatch. Plus, they contain extra anti-inflammatory fats that aren't found in fish oil. And if you want to go the extra mile, then add a source of gamma-linolenic acid, which is another inflammatory fat that only comes from plants. And you can get this from ahi flower oil, hemp seed oil, or evening primrose oil. Okay, so let's quickly summarize. Here's what you need to add to your dog's kibble. First, 5-10% to of his diet should be mulched up berries and cruciferous veggies. If you can find broccoli sprouts, then feed them only every day. This will reduce your dog's risk of cancer, help protect his liver and kidneys, and keep inflammation down. Oh, and, and it'll make him a lot less likely to get cancer, so don't skip this step. Second, add some form of dirt like bentonite, zeolite, humic, or fulvic acid. Alternatively, you can give your dog some chlorella every day. They'll bind to toxins and move them out with a poop before they do damage to your dog's organs. Third, add fresh cooked mushrooms or a whole mushroom extract powder. This will help protect your dog by getting toxins out of his bodies, keeping inflammation down, and just flat out make him live longer because it reduces his cancer risk. Fourth, add probiotics. This will protect your dog's immune system and his gut from the inflammation caused by those starch-eating bacteria species. Ideally, they'll be soil-based probiotics, but any probiotic will do. And finally, add a source of omega-3 fats. Once again, this will reduce inflammation, plus omega-3 fats will help protect the gut lining from inflammation. Now, these five simple steps will make your dog's kibble a heck of a lot more like real food without the cost and complexity of a raw or freeze-dried diet. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. We're always here to help. And if you like this video, please like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.